Okay, I feel like I should address this eventually, so might as well do it now. Hello everyone and welcome to Damn Me Void, I'm Brian, your host, and time to address a slight elephant in the room. I did make a big to-do about streaming my playthrough of the Fate Stay Night visual novel. That kind of fell by the wayside, as you could see, and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue it. And I'm going to go over the reasons why. First off is diminishing returns. Each video I've uploaded onto YouTube has gotten less and less views. Although I do recognize that there are people who did watch them and did enjoy them. So that's part of where I'm conflicted because, yeah, it's getting less views, but there were people that enjoyed it. The other factor is my own enjoyment. Yeah, I had a bit fun doing the shit talking and stuff like that. I enjoyed the little nuggets of new information that I got and... I am excited to see more information that was left out of the anime that I can get in a playthrough. But it's boring! That is my biggest contention right now. It is so hard to get into it. And that's even as a person who knows that it gets good, that it gets action-y, but the block of stuff... Everything that I just kind of got to go through. Like in the last video I did, the roundabout conversation and argument that Archer and Rin had made me want to pull out my hair. They basically just went around in circles for several minutes. I cannot handle something like that in what is just a novel. Yeah, you get some choices, and yeah, they can act, they can change the, um, outcome, but at the end of the day, it's literally just a book that I'm reading. It is a picture book, and that's not a lambast of visual novels in general. Some of my most favorite games are visual novels. Hell, Zero Escape and Danganronpa are my two most favorite games of all time, bar none, and they are visual novels, and they are very interesting, very interactive, and I can get into them almost instantly. Danganronpa's um, prologue starts out with so many words. There's so much exposition and word information dumps that happen in that game before anything interesting happen, but I am still compelled enough to continue through a playthrough of the prologue and the first half of the first chapter, because it drags me in. I don't feel dragged in by Fate Say Night, and I've played several hours of it so far. The first video was almost two hours, and each subsequent video, up to four, has been over an hour or almost an hour. So I can say that I have played enough time to decide whether or not I am bored by it or not. Granted, part of the problem might be because I didn't start it right. I played a bit of the opening of the game but after the prologue and then jumped into the prologue. That could be part of the reason, but still... <laughs> It's not grabbing me in. And the game format, at least. Again, like if I watch Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, the anime, or Heaven's Feel the anime, I'm fine. But I feel like getting the information that I want will be more interesting going through the wikia. Researching the wikia where it's more condensed and digestible is a more interesting time than actually playing the game. And fundamentally, at the end of the day, that is the reason I'm playing the game. If I want to see the cool action set pieces 
and stuff like that, I have the anime now. The main thing the anime lacks is information and certain contexts. If I am playing the visual novel solely for information and extra context to certain happenings that got left out in the anime, I personally feel I am better off reading the wikia or asking someone about the context and they can explain it to me in a simple format. And while I sound heated, a bit more heated than I really should, I'm, I'm just getting, I'm just kind of getting into it really. This is not to lambast the visual novel, to talk down on the visual novel, or even to talk down on people who enjoy the visual novel. This is just my personal thoughts on it. And honestly, I might be getting a bit defensive because I feel like people might come after me for this. I've said things that I shouldn't have before in certain contexts where I was rightfully kind of shit on. This I don't feel like is a situation where I deserve to be shit on for my personal opinion on this matter, but it, I am being defensive. That part is my fault. I am being defensive. I'm getting a bit too heated in this video, but I'm going to keep it as is. Actually, I'm going to start playing a new visual novel. I, well, it's not new. New to me, I'm finally getting around to playing uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, a game that I've been wanting to play for a very long time because, again, my favorite games are Danganronpa and Zero Escape, two visual novels that are very over-the-top in anime tropiness and are chocked full of logic puzzles. So Ace Attorney seems like the logical next step for me to take. Now, I might be playing that on my own time, but I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit longer, let this video come out, and if you're interested in seeing me play Ace Attorney with really very zero context of the story or anything like that outside of memes, I'll start playing that on the channel. I'll, I'll do that if I get like five comments on this video. I'm a very tiny channel, I'm not expecting a lot here. So, to kind of get an invested interest for me to do this, five people. That's all I'm asking for, five people who will at least regularly watch it until they decide to jump ship. But yeah, as for the uh, Fate Stay Night visual novel, I don't see myself continuing it anytime soon in any context. I might change my mind down the road if I get enough people asking for it when my channel gets bigger. Because, <laughs> obviously I do want to get a bigger channel and grow more. So when that time comes, if people ask me to continue the playthrough, or I guess start it from the beginning since it'll probably be a while from now, then I'll probably go back to it. Right now it's more of like the vested interest. Do I really want to spend the time playing something I'm not having a good time with when I'm not getting a lot to show for it? So I am genuinely sorry to the people who are enjoying my playthrough of it, but I wasn't. So anyway, be sure to let me know your opinions on uh, me not playing this game anymore and me potentially playing Ace Attorney on this channel. I'm interested to find out. And now it's plug time, so... You should go follow my friend Osios over on Twitch. She is a fantastic artist and a fantastic person. She deserves all of the views and followers and subscribers or whatever the hell Twitch is doing as she can get. She streams several times a week where she draws art while talking with friends in an open forum like discussion where any topic can really pop up, be it D&D, current events anime in general, and so on and so forth. Sometimes I will pop up um, at some point during the streams to have discourse and discussions with all of the other crazy people there. Uh, so if you want to see me, more of me, go there, but stay for her. Her links are in the description below. And of course, if you want to see me and more of my nonsense, you should like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you miss an upload for me, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Those links are in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time in the void. Later.